This video is sponsored by VCG Motions. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to another brand new Photoshop tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a very colorful 3D text design inside of Photoshop using some very easy and simple techniques. So with that said, let's jump into Photoshop and get started. Alright guys, so here we are in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start off by creating a document. Let's call this Shine 1920 by 1080. And for if you want to see the most settings, you can just click right over here. So I'm going with a higher resolution of 300 PPI with the color mode of RGB. So let's click on create a new document. So there we have our new document. Let's select the text tool. We don't need any strokes. So I'm going to set this to zero. We just need the fill. You can of course select any color that you want and type in the text that I want. Let's make it a bit bigger so I can hit control T. So I'm just going to drag this up like that. Align it into the center. You can find the align tab under windows align. And for the text, I'm going to type in just like the example shine. You can, of course, type in any text that you want. And for the font, I'm going to be using Matchmaker. I'll mention the link in the description. This is a very nice font for this kind of styles. You are free to experiment with different fonts if you want. So that is looking pretty good. Maybe I'll increase the size a bit. So hold Alt and Shift at the same time to increase the size. Then right click and create outlines from the text. Also make sure you merge that up by using the Pathfinders Unite tool. You can again find the Pathfinder tool in Windows and Pathfinder. So there we have our text. Now we need to create some nice um, stroke around our text. So basically we will be offsetting the path and to do that. I'm going to go, I'm going to select the layer, go into object path and offset path. Let's turn on the preview so we can see the result and 18 pixels of offset works pretty good for this. So I'm going to go with that and click OK. Again, I'm going to click on the Unite tool from the Pathfinder and you can change the color so that you can see it more properly. Then I can just go into my layer panel and make sure you put this at the very back just like that. So let's select this, ungroup it and again now i need to actually place this at the back just like so but right over here we, you can see we get a little bit of defects so to fix this it's pretty simple i'm just gonna move the point like so same i can do right over here i think the snapping is on so i'll go into view and turn on turn off snap to pixel so that it doesn't snaps and then i can just do this little adjustment just trying to be as precise as possible there we go you can also select the point and drag this to make it a bit more smoother but i think that works pretty good let's change the color of this text so i'll select everything hit ctrl g and then i'll change this to something like an off white and let's see if we find any other defects and I find it right over here at the E. So I'll select the direct selection tool again. Select this point and I can also actually delete this point if you want. But let's try to fix it instead of deleting it. And yeah, that works. That is looking pretty nice. Now, before we proceed further with this tutorial, let me tell you guys about today's sponsor VCG Motions. They have made this amazing pack called Crispy Cut which comes with over 2000 plus transitions and assets. This is an amazing library for creating any kind of slideshows, promos, openers, social media posts, anything. It's powered by Atom X extension so anyone can use it without breaking a sweat. You can try out the free demo version which comes with over 100 transitions so you can try it out before you make the purchase. I definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and check it out. The link will be in the description below. So with that said, let's jump back to Photoshop and continue with the tutorial. For the background, 
I'm, I can go with a nice dark black color but doesn't really matter because we will be changing the colors later on in Photoshop. Now there are a few things that I want to do is fix the gaps so to do that I can actually hide this for now select the pen tool and I can just create a random shape to cover up, cover up those gaps just like so select everything and again click on unite so let's turn that off put this at the back all right so something like this looks pretty good let's copy this one by one into photoshop and we'll proceed further in photoshop so i'll select the text first of all hit ctrl c I'm going to photoshop let's create a new document so i'll go with 1920 by 1080 with a resolution of 300 click on create there we go i can just hit ctrl v to paste that up make sure you select smart object and hit ok then let's go to illustrator and i'm going to select the black text hit ctrl c and ctrl v smart object put this at the back and you can see it doesn't look proper right here so what i'm going to do is select it hit ctrl t and link this and let's set this to around maybe let's go 40 percent i think 40 is a bit too much 30 percent yep that looks good hit ok select this one hit ctrl t link this and set this to 30 percent so now you can see we have the look that we are going for looking pretty nice now let's go ahead and proceed with the coloring stuff so first of all i'm going to select the first layer that is this one to fix and add a nice gradient overlay now for the gradient overlay i can as you can see i've already you know added the colors but i also have a notepad here with all the color codes and i'll mention this notepad and the project file link will be in the description to download them so you can download it and copy paste the same color codes if you want to so for this one i'm going with a nice uh, kind of a light green color you can copy you can see the color code right over here and I have you know moved this point from the center a little bit to the left because we want more of the white and less of the green just so that it blends in properly and with the scale I'll set this to around 20 that looks good and hit ok let's select the bottom one go into effects and a gradient overlay and this time I'm gonna go with a different color so I'll go into my color code notepad and let's copy paste the colors so I'm gonna hit ctrl c go right here open that up Control v to paste the color and again you can go with different colors if you want to but i think this color looks pretty nice and refreshing and hit ok everything else looks good hit ok one more thing that i would like to do is add a nice drop shadow on our first text so i'll go into effects add a drop shadow for the color i'm going with a nice darker green color that we have you can again copy paste the same color code with opacity of 75 blending mode of multiply and distance of 12 we don't need any spread with the size of 30 and 2 percent of noise just to avoid any kind of color bendings so hit ok and right off the bat you can see it's looking very nice let's also give it a nice background color so i can create a new solid color and for the background, I'm going to go with a nice light yellow color, something like that. Hit OK. And now the fun part is to make it look 3D, which is super easy and a very cool technique that we will be using to do that. So to do that, what I'm going to do is go into Windows and make sure you bring up your action panel. So here we have actions and actions are basically, you know, it, it records the steps that you do and then you just need to click on play and it's gonna automatically do all the basic steps that you did or recorded in just one click and you know i can create a different complete different video on what action is but for now let's just keep it pretty sweet and simple so what i'm gonna do is select this layer and i'll create a new action so i'll click right over here call this 3d text and I'm going to hit on record. So now whatever steps that I'm going to do, it's going to record it. So you can see the results right over here. So now what I'm going to do is hit control J. And as you can see, it says that the layer was copied. I'll bring that below and I'll use the arrow keys to bring the layer down. 
so i'll hit one or twice to bring it to two pixels maybe you know at the bottom and i guess that is all we have to do for this or maybe i'll also bring down the size so i'll hit ctrl t make sure it's linked and set this to 29 percent and i'll bring this a bit more down just like that and then i'm gonna click on stop now if i select the layer and if i just click on play and keep on clicking on the play button you can see it's gonna create the same process and now if i go ahead and set the very first layer that we have and let's change the colors make them a bit lighter you can see it's looking pretty cool right now i want to move them a bit to the bottom so what i'm going to do is let's um control z it select all the layers that we created and let's create a different action so this way you can create a three-dimensional but i want to also give it a little bit of angle that i want so i'm going to select this again go into actions and let's create one more action so i'll click on okay let's call this just 3d and click on record and then what i'm going to do is hit ctrl j put this below and hit use your arrow keys to move this two frames or two not two frames two pixels towards the bottom one two and that's it that's all i want to do then click on stop all right now if i select the first one and just keep on clicking on the play icon it's gonna create a few copies just like that now if i go again at the top go into my gradient and let's um give it a lighter color just like so there we go it's looking super cool and super nice now we also want to add a little bit of highlight to add a bit more depth to the scene so first of all i'll select all the shapes hit ctrl g to group them up call this 3d select this one that is our first text that we have hit ctrl j i'll call this um, maybe a highlights and we don't need any gradient and drop shadow let's double click in this area or you can just select it and go into blending options and we need only the bevel and emboss for this and i think it's it have already you know used the preset that i previously created so i'll just go over through it so firstly we need to set this on in a bevel technique to smooth for the depth you can go with 400 or more for the size i'll keep it at around eight i think looks good for the soften i'll go with four angle of 90 untick the use global light and set the altitude to 60 for the highlight mode make sure you set it to linear light and you can increase the linear light to around 40 that looks much better and make sure you turn off the shadows so bring down the opacity to zero and right over here you can see we get this really nice highlight which adds a really nice depth a little bit of more depth to the text and it looks pretty nice now one more thing that you can do is add some texture to your background as i did in the previous example as you can see right over here so i basically just downloaded a vector texture or pattern you can call it from free pick i'll mention the link in the description below so you can download the same pattern and just added it to the background so yeah that is a wrap i hope you enjoyed this photoshop tutorial on how to create a really cool and sweet looking 3d text in photoshop so yeah that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions if you want me to create more and more photoshop and illustrator tutorials then please do comment and let me know in the comment section below i'll be more than happy to make it for you guys so i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out